Hi! Let's get this out of the way first. In this video I will be giving away 10 Steam keys to my game Gridlocked, which you can wishlist on Steam by the way. And the way that's gonna happen is these 10 keys are gonna appear randomly across the video. Some of them are gonna be obvious, some of them are gonna be more like hidden in the background, you have to look for them. Let me give you a quick... 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 Let me give you a quick example. This is a Steam key. If one of you was fast enough and typed it into Steam, you will now have access to Gridlocked as soon as it releases... at some point. I will try to keep track of which codes have been redeemed so far, and I will have a pinned comment down below where you can check if there are still any keys left to be discovered. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get into the actual devlog. In the past week, I took a quick detour out of the usual business of tweaking traffic, trying to make levels, writing the story, you know, all of the boring stuff, and decided it's time to actually integrate Steamworks into the game, including Steam achievements. Now, I know some people don't really care for Steam achievements, they think they are, like, dumb, they don't add anything. Um, with all respect, I think those people are wrong. For me, Steve achievements were always a fun way to keep track of your overall progress in the game, and they sometimes give you fun challenges which you otherwise wouldn't think of doing. And this is probably just a completionist in me talking, but I really love when I 100% the game, I can see the Steam achievement statistics saying game completed. For my game, for Gridlocked, I'm gonna do achievements the way I like to have them as a player. There will be some achievements that are automatically unlocked when you progress through the story, but there's also gonna be some challenge achievements, like do some specific hidden challenge this way, or find this hidden collectible, or go down this weird dialogue tree, stuff like that. Now, I have worked with Steamworks before in my previous two games. In my first game, Kodak Trust, I used Steamworks.net, which is basically a C-sharp wrapper for the C++ library that is provided by Valve. It was, um... Not the most easy thing to use, especially for my first ever Steamworks game. Luckily, by the time I worked on my second Steam game, Bullet Squared, I discovered Face Punch Steamworks, which is a reimagined wrapper of the Steamworks library with more established C -sharp conventions being used. It is way friendlier to code in, and it's actually fun to do so. Now, compared to Bullet Squared, I actually wanted this time to have an achievement system that could theoretically be separated from Steam's achievement system. So, for example, if in the future the game were to come out on a different platform, like a mobile, run just HIO, or the Switch, or what have you, I could just swap out the Steamworks specific code for whichever platform I'm going to, or just have no third-party achievement manager, just have it internally in the game. And I created a wrapper class for... Eh. And I created a wrapper interface for use with any platform's achievements. And specifically for Steamworks, with the FacePunch Steamworks API, I can just grab all of the achievements defined in Steamworks, we'll get back to that in a second, read their name, their description, and load the achievement icon, transform it into a texture, then transform it into a sprite that can be used on the Unity UI. And yeah, that's basically it. And then if I were to switch to a different platform, I could swap out the Steamworks-specific wrapper to something else, or eventually I can just have the achievement progress saved on local storage. So for this, the first step was actually having some sort of UI in the game that can track and display your achievements, regardless of which third-party achievement provider you are using. So I put together some very basic UI elements, like really just the achievement's name, description, and its icon, which should update based on whether the achievement is locked or unlocked, all of them packed into a scroll view, and of course, each of these individual elements will be dynamically generated once we have the information read from Steamworks. Okay, now after all that, uh, ha hang on, I, I think I... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Of course, this is temporary. In the future, I also need to implement features like hidden achievements, where the information doesn't reveal itself only after the player achieved that specific achievement. So with that in place, let's actually go into Steamworks and define our achievements. It's actually just as easy as you imagine. You give each achievement a unique ID, which you will use to reference in your code. Give it a name, 
a description and a locked and unlocked icon. In the future, you can also have localized versions of this. I'm not gonna go into that yet. Localization is probably gonna be its own video at some point in the future. Okay, to start with, I just created a couple achievements just as a proof of concept to make sure everything still works as I expect it to. Like really think the most basics. Here's an achievement for completing the tutorial. And here's an achievement for driving an ambulance. Okay, everything seems to be in place. Let's actually go ahead and try it. We publish all the changes, then we immediately see the new achievements appear on the Steam client for the game. And if everything is working as expected, when we start the game, the previously created UI elements should automatically contain the newly created achievements. As you can see, since both of them are still locked, the images are grayed out. After quickly implementing the logic to unlock these achievements, let's give them a try. Yeah, unlocking works perfectly. You can see the images are now the colored ones, and if you look at the Steam client, it will tell us that we have unlocked the achievements. Now with these foundations laid down, I can proceed and come up with fun and challenging achievements to implement. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this shorter devlog, and I hope you had success in finding the hidden Steam keys. Leave a comment if you managed to snag a code, and if you enjoyed the devlog, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time.